All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com. Back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again on Wild Card Wednesday. So if you saw the thumbnail, you already know what we're talking about on this Wild Card Wednesday. I got another RTA for you. Now, I know this one's been out for a while, but it's kind of a cool little RTA that I thought you guys might be interested in seeing, knowing more about. I don't know. So be warned that the only place I found this for sale... The Ohm Mega is a top fill RTA from Advokin out of China. You unscrew this top part. You can see your little juice fill holes right there. It's not a terribly big tank and it only has a three mil capacity because most of the inner tank is taken up by this chimney. But once we unscrew this, that's why the chimney needs to be so big. You have these really ridiculously tall posts, positive and negative, with decently sized post holes in them. That's where your airflow comes in and up through the bottom. Those are your tiny, tiny juice flow holes right there. I end up wicking this more like an RDA than an RTA. I don't even bother trying to put any cotton in those tiny little juice flow holes. There's that adjustable airflow that stops it fully open, stops it fully closed. There's no really clicky points in between. Little word of warning though, don't try to take this airflow ring off. You can slide it up off of the deck, but these O-rings on here make it a bit of a nightmare to get on, and I shredded the bottom one pretty well. But it's got a nice big opening that lead right to these holes right here. So because I'm feeling really, really lazy right now, I don't want to build on this. So what I did is I grabbed some M-Turk coils. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to put these alien 32836 twisted messes nichrome 80.16 ohm coils on this tank. Feel like the chimney will give me enough clearance to get these coils in here. I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping they'll fit. So pretty much just as promised by MTurk, they came out to 0.14 ohms. They're on here. We got them glowing eh, evenly, a couple of hot spots to work out, but more importantly, the chimney. Oh yes. The chimney fits on there just fine. What I had to do, I just pressed them really close, lifted them up a little bit, but those coils fit in there just fine. Now, there's a big gap here between the, uh, between the juice and the coil. How are we gonna get this juice in here up to these coils? Well, like I said, we're gonna wick it kind of like an RDA. I'm gonna get my cotton, I'm gonna stick it through there, and I'm just going to kind of stuff it down underneath, in between these areas right here. It'll make much more sense once we actually do it. But what I'm most excited about is that the chimney fits on there with no issues. Gonna be using a bit wider piece of cotton right now. This is Kogendo Organic Cotton. This is about 20 millimeters across this way. I've peeled off one of the sides. And what we're gonna do now is roll it on both sides. Now that that cotton is snugly through the coils, what I'm gonna do is bend these cotton ends down and kind of eh, tuck them underneath here, but still leaving cotton over these juice flow holes, not in them, but over them. You can kind of see what I mean right there by over, but not in. I trim the wicks down, they're just down, and they're pressed against the deck, and they're over those juice flow holes. This is by far one of the more tricky RTAs to wick, just because you have to build your coils higher, and your wicks going down to your juice channels are longer. So we gotta get them all juiced up before we put the chimney on, but they're all juiced and yes, they're producing the vapors. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna slide this chimney on. and It just screws down over your coils, over your wet wicks. Make sure it grabs the threads in there. Screw it down, you're good. You're good to fill up your tank. Now, we have to assemble the rest of the tank. So the glass goes on over it. There's O-rings at the bottom that are gonna hold that in place. Then your top chimney is gonna screw into right there. Then there's O-rings on top that's gonna hold that in place. Now there's no sort of juice control system down here. So when you unscrew this, there's a good chance that a little bit of juice is gonna go up into your deck and hit those wicks, which honestly 
probably wouldn't be a bad thing. I've never had this flood on me when I'm filling it, but you take off the top. I'm gonna to be using a glass dripper bottle. You put your little tip of your bottle glass dripper right there and fill this up. It's a small tank, so it's a quick fill. All right, well, the tank is full. We're gonna get back out to normal view right now and we're gonna vape this. So on this tank, there's no juice flow control to your coils so that when you unscrew the top and you break that seal, you do have the chance of flooding it, but you don't really have to worry about unscrewing it and filling it. What you really have to look out for is screwing this back on because of the way it sits in here, there's a little bit of a trough, right? And then your juice fill hole is down here. So you fill it all up and when you screw this down, it's pushing air slowly into your tank. And all that's gonna do is push air in and push your juice down and force it up into your coils. So what I found myself having to do is take it, even though it's a top fill, and I know this is annoying, it's just one of those annoying things. You unscrew this, you fill it up. You screw it in just enough so that no juice comes out. You kind of flip it upside down and then you screw it down the rest of the way so that while it's pushing while it's making that pressure in there it's only pushing air into your coils rather than juice so this atomizer or rta or tank or whatever you want to call it it's an rta okay this rta doesn't seem to fire on some of my mods and i can't figure out why i was trying to use it on the praxis decimus says no atomizer so i was like well that's weird. Sometimes uh, I've got like dust or uh, like a granule of something on the 510 pin here and that's been keeping it from making a connection. So I, I cleaned off the 510, I make sure it was all secure. It is poking out a little bit, certainly never use this one on a hybrid mod, but it's poking out a little bit. So I was like, okay, so I hooked it up to the Relo. I was like, good old trusty Relo, RX200, no atomizer. So I'm going, what, what, what is going on right now? So finally, I put it on my MX box, screwed it down, pressed the button. Yeah, showed me the resistance and it vapes. I don't know why that's happening. I don't know if there's a wonky connection in the atomizer or if that 510 pin just doesn't stick out enough. We live in a really interesting time right now in vaping where some RDAs and tanks and atomizers have an incredibly long 510 pin for safety reasons. So mod manufacturers have to be able to accommodate for that giant 510 pin with their spring-loaded 510 connections on their mods. And some spring-loaded 510 connections are only so adjustable, you know what I mean? So when you go back to a tank that has a very just, mm, just slightly protruding 510 pin. These mods are made to use atomizers that take really long 510 pins, so it might not be making a good connection there. It's just something to keep in mind. The 510 pin on this is almost nearly flush with the bottom of the threads, so I have personally had some issues trying to get it to work on certain mods. It works for sure on the MX box. I've got it to work for sure on the iStick 100 watt with TC. It did not work on the Decimus and it did not work on my Rillo. That's all I really experimented with at this point. But I do like the airflow. It's a really nice, warm, dense vape. I do love the deck on this. I fit those MTurk coils in here, no problem. Just pushed them up to the posts, clipped the leads, screwed it all down, and it's fantastic. And these MTurk coils, maybe that's why this tastes so good right now, but it is delicious. So these are 36 gauge over 28 gauge Claptons with a tri-core 28 gauge Clapton, you know, core on the inside uh, using Twisted Messes Niachrome 80. He says it'll come out to one point, uh, 0.16 ohm. It came out to 0.14 ohm. I'm a satisfied customer. If I had bought these coils from MTurk, done. Satisfied customer. The vape on it's really, really nice. Airflow's a little bit stiff compared to some other RTAs, especially considering some of the other newer RTAs that have come out now with just big, huge, swooshy airflow. It's not anywhere close to a mouth-to-lung, so don't think that you can do a mouth-to-lung with this. It's just a tighter, 
lung hit, if that makes any sense. Now, the big downfall of this tank, it's the three mil capacity of it. Three mils, that sucks, especially when you've got some huge aliens in here and you're just tearing through juice. I've already vaped through half of this tank and I've been sitting here for maybe 15 minutes just tearing through juice like crazy. You're gonna do a lot of refilling with this tank because of the three mil capacity and you're gonna be doing a lot of refilling and it's kind of wonky. You have to unscrew this, fill it up, screw it halfway, flip it upside down, screw it the rest of the way. Otherwise, you end up with flooding juice into your into your coils and into your wicks and out the out the air holes. It's kind of just a mess. But blah, 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 blah. if we're playing the aliens game where aliens take all of my vape gear, is this something I would seek out and purchase? Eh, I don't know. Probably not. But sixteen bucks, you can't really complain about that price. I mean, that is, huh, that's a shockingly low price for this. I mean, 16 bucks, what are you going to do? So maybe if I saw this for 16 bucks, I'd go, yeah, I'd try it. But I don't know if it's something I would actually like seek out. I wouldn't go, I need to have that Omega again in my life. I probably wouldn't do that. In the end, the decision is yours to make, but don't worry. I'll have a link down in the description where you can check it out if you're interested. But that's what I got for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping. That's enough.